I'm Janet Eckelman. I am an artist, a visual artist, a sculptor. I prefer to work in public space because central to my work is being part of everyday life. I see it as one unified, immersive environment. It starts at the sky and it ends at the water below, and we, the people who walk through it, are in the middle path. It begins uh, with red drawn lines in the sky, which are made of bent steel pipes that are painted a very glossy red, a very important color in Chinese culture. and. Um, many different shades of red to orange, the colors of the sky, of the sun, um, come down in netted forms. Uh, this site, when I was first introduced to it, was a place where the Musqueam still teach their children to fish using nets. And as I learned more about the last couple of centuries of history here, of the settlers, um, fishing nets and were very important to them as well and there was a, a history of a cannery tradition of many different ethnic groups worked in the fishing industry here. So those shapes go into the netted forms. Those are the references in the netted forms. And as your eye comes down, there's a red winding path of stained wood. The red winding path traverses the same path that a dragon dance would traverse. And as you look up, these red glowing shapes in the sky at night are like the glowing lanterns in the Lantern Festival of the Chinese community. And as you look further down, you look into the water, you see reflections of the sky and these wind sculptures and yourself. And you also see fountains that mirror the shapes above you that's showing the interrelationship between all these forms. And those, I call them water drawing, but they're actually drawn with air bubbles and the, the function of the air bubbles is to clean the water. And it actually helps remediate the water quality. And all that water is coming off the five-acre roof of the new Olympic ice oval facility. My work evolves and adapts to small movements in wind and sunlight uh, and rain and water. So I'm... I'm I'm just becoming a part of nature and changing with nature. My work is a part of nature and it is adapting. And the beauty of my work actually comes from the way that nature moves it more than the work itself.